brave Lincoln, the great big giant of a man was he. Yes, sir. He was born in an old log cabin and he worked for a living splitting rails. Now Abe, he knew right from wrong, for he was honest as the day is long. And these are the words he said, this country with its institutions belongs to the people who inhabit it. This country with its constitution belongs to us who live in it. Never they shall grow weary of the existing government. They can exercise their constitutional right of amending it for their revolutionary right to dismember or overthrow it. Now Abe once ran a little country store in Salem town, Illinois. And the woman, she paid him sixpence more than she ought to have done. A mistake. So off through the storm, old Abe went. He paid that woman back every cent, for Abe was an honest man. Now Abe was close to the ground, though he towered up six foot four. And his heart was as big as a whole country with room for more. Black folks, too, he never forgot from whence he came, though he landed in the White House and got great fame, for he was a working man. This country with its institutions belongs to the people who inhabit it. This country with its constitution belongs to us who live in it. Whenever they shall grow weary of the existing government, they can exercise their constitutional right of amending it or their revolutionary right to dismember or overthrow it. Now old Abe's eyes were set way back deep in his head. A thinking man. But you didn't need learning to understand what old Abe said. Listen to this. This republic will never be free till the black man's out of slavery. And then came the Civil War. This country with its institutions belongs to the people who inhabit it. This country with its constitution belongs to us who live in it. Whenever they shall grow weary of the existing government, they can exercise their constitutional right of amending it. Sometimes Abe, he wavered and shook like a great tall tree. That's true. For he wanted peace between the states in this country. Like the Bible said, but Abe never crawled when the showdown came. Like some people now who take his name, he beat those slave men down. dead and gone these eighty years. A great man, and every year the party he made says Lincoln's theirs. No, sir, for if all they were living right now to the man at the bench and the man at the plow, these are the words he'd say. This country with its institutions belongs to the people who inhabit it. This country with its constitution belongs to us who live in it. Whenever they shall grow weary of the age.
existing government they can exercise their constitutional right of amending it for the revolutionary right to dismember 